Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my review of Excalibur 2 by a really average writer and a really excellent artist, Teeny Howard writing and Marcus Toe uh, as the uh, artist. And I've got to say, uh, she's unconscious the whole comic. <laughs> um, so this is Excalibur. They're doing the Dawn of X storyline. That's Jonathan Hickman doing the uh, Krakoa. All the mutants are on an ethno state in Krakoa and, and they can all come back to life if they die um, and this Excalibur is you know uh, having to do with the Britain and the magic side of the mutant uh, universe so I actually got a little confused when I saw the um, Kitty Pride and the ship from the Marauders is like and I, I started reading like half of this is like why is there so much Captain Britain Marauders but it's a trick question <laughs> Because Captain Britain isn't in this. There is a character called Captain Britain, uh, Elizabeth Betsy Braddock, but let's call her by her actual name, Supergirl Hero Person. Supergirl Hero Person has nothing to do with Supergirl. Supergirl Hero Person is the generic female superhero that SJWs and people who have read a lot more Teeny Howard than me, they say, Teeny Howard writes one character. And it's always this. It's like the approved body type, blank expression, uh, uh, LOL so random when she needs to be barking commander of just, just empty. It's just an empty shell. Um, so it starts off, uh, Rogue has been ensorcelled in this, you know, bed of flowers. And they're heading to the uh, lighthouse uh, that's the headquarters of Excalibur. And then, like, it's just weird um kitty pride i don't know what what is sjw's deal with kitty pride remember two years ago when they were like drawing her looking like some sort of super masculine weightlifter and now she's like an a-hole in marauder she's like let's go fight russians and just, just being stupid and drunk and now like gambit is really bummed out because she's still his wife right she's you know caught in a spell and she's just making like these dumb jokes about hot tubs and, and Gambit keeps like, he's like, I'm not really in a joking mood. And then everyone else is just kind of like, whatever. Um, she'll be fine. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's dramatic. <laughs> like, like I know in comics she will be fine. But like, it's, uh, you know, uh, George Lucas said to one of the actors in A New Hope or one of them, he's like, this dialogue is boring. It's like, can I have the character say it's boring? It's like, no, no, nothing's boring. In this universe, everything's exciting. You don't even broach the subject of it being boring. You're really breaking kayfabe when you say, she's tough, she'll be fine. It's like, well, yeah, I know, but we were pretending like this was like a story. And, that, and that's the problem. A lot happens in this. And, you, and as you can see, the art is absolutely fantastic. But there's no story. And there's very little characters. There's a lot of plot. A lot of things happen in here. But... This is all based around, that, that blank expression pretty much says it. Uh, Supergirl hero person. She's very, very competent. And people like her. Um, uh, Gambit is just getting like completely disrespected. Gambit, you know, if you look at this team, and they, and they got the little infographic here, Gambit is by far the most popular character on this team. Um, and she just keeps getting like, he keeps getting like, first of all, he's drawn to be like extremely passive. He's just like sitting, being sad, sitting, being sad, just being told like, what are you boring about, Nancy? She'll be freaking fine. And then at one point he's like, he's like, look, he's just sitting. And then she's like, uh, don't be absurd. If that coven does return, you can't possibly defend them by yourself. Excuse me? Gambit is one of the premier hand-to-hand -hand and melee combatants in the entire Marvel Universe. He's up there with people like Nightcrawler. Yeah, Nightcrawler. People don't think about Nightcrawler as being the ultimate melee fighting champ of the 616, but at his power level, he is. So you got, you know, you basically got uh, Gambit, Nightcrawler, and Spider-Man. Those are, you know, you're in a crowd of people on the ground in a warehouse or in an alley, and there's 20 of them, there's you. You're gonna win. He like, he can fight a bunch of druids. Trust me. Then here's another weird thing. So they kind of reset everyone and they're re redoing things. Okay, so Betsy Braddock is 
is Captain Britain. By the way, this is super dynamic. This is just this is issue two. It feels like it's issue eighty. Um, it's I it's it's weird that I you know I'm watching the the Marvel the X Men animated series on uh, Disney Plus Plus we call it Plus, um, and them deciding that uh, Jubilee being a teenage mom is like a central part of her character and we can't kind of like magically wave that away is just weird she's, she's supposed to just be making pop culture references and being really young and she's just like looking out for a baby it's like so you can see here it's freaking fantastic art fantastic art but I, I don't know what this is i have no attachment to supergirl hero person it's impossible to attach she has no actual personality a ton of stuff happens in this absolute ton of it things never stop happening Except for the story. The story never starts. The plot starts, but the story is just MIA, possibly KIA. Um, so anyway, if you want amazing art and things happening to character, by all means. <laughs> but as you can tell from me wrapping things up in six minutes, there's really not a lot here. The uh, art is, like I said, let's get some nice close-ups. Absolutely fantastic. But... <laughs> Putting Gambit in the back while you, this awesome character, why Supergirl hero person is like, I can do it. I can do anything. Um, not interesting. It's not funny. It's not fun. There's nothing bad about it. It's not especially SJW in like the surface level, but it's just boring. <laughs> it's just boring and it's weird. It's like, why does this exist? Also, why do you seem to be already bored with this, Teeny Howard? Anyway, so thanks for watching. Subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone giving to the GoFundMe and the Indiegogo. You're finding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. I do not remotely have enough. Uh, I got three minutes till 10 minutes. I cannot remotely vamp for three minutes for that long. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.